This week, I delivered a final proposed 2022 budget that maintains service levels, strategically invests in economic recovery, and prioritizes public safety, homelessness, housing, and economic development. My directive throughout the many months spent on budget development has been to preserve critical city services while taking a strategic approach to meeting our short-term needs and in ways that prepare the city for an accelerated recovery and long-term fiscal sustainability. Protecting our budget reserves has put us in a position to strategically deploy federal recovery funds in the community and in the organization to make careful one-time investments and meet revenue gaps caused by the pandemic. Investments in public safety will help us better meet community needs and provide a greater sense of security. I've also proposed continuing the fundamental shift in how people transition out of homelessness by improving system resources, filling gaps, introducing greater accountability into programs, maximizing regional partnerships, and increasing housing options while reducing barriers. Our economic development efforts will grow the city as the regional center for business and leisure through economic expansion and prepare the city for rapid pandemic recovery. I'm proposing more investments in police officer training and in-field partnership between officers and behavior health specialists, reducing wait times for police public records requests, supporting victims of violent crime and human trafficking, adding downtown and neighborhood cleanup resources and more staffing to reduce residential permit times and increase housing supply. My budget follows the city's long-standing financial principles of funding the highest priorities first, covering one-time costs with one-time revenues, and meeting ongoing obligations with reoccurring revenue sources. It incorporates priorities identified through months of community and city council engagement. Thank you to everyone who's been part of the budget conversations so far. The process now enters the council hearing phase and then adoption by the end of the year.